Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video and this is day 20 of the Art by Marlene stencil advent calendar. So it's this really cool little floral stencil um, and I've been using make these makeup sponges uh, recently to apply paint through these um, and decided I would cut some in half just to try and make it a bit easier to be a bit more precise with where the colour was going to go. So my initial thought here was that I was going to stencil some colour through and then go in and work on it after. So I've put out some different colours onto my palette paper. So I've got uh, lime, fur and evergreen. And I'm just applying some layers of those through to the leafy parts of the stencil. And then I've got magenta, cheddar and lemon. Um, so I'm just going to put one kind of layer of colour on there first and then move the stencil around and apply some more colour through the stencil just so it fills the tag and then once I've done that I'm going to go in and add some more details so I think um, with a stencil like this it's like you, this needs to be the focal point really of the whole tag because it's so pretty um, and you can see here I've just added in some carnation so I've got a little bit of uh, colour difference on the tag itself and then I have moved it and I'm just going to do repeat the same process down here as well um, yeah so I didn't put any gesso on the tag no gesso no background paint I've just gone straight in onto the white tag with the stencil um, just wanted to get some paint through it and have a play and see what it looked like and now you can see because obviously of the way the stencil's made there's all these spaces between the flower petals i'm going to go in with posca pens and add some color into those and then draw onto them again just so that they then pop out from the background a little bit um oh yeah this is a great a great way to kind of start with a stencil like this just get some color through it get it onto your page and then you can start thinking about how you bring it to life how you pull it together once you've got it all where you want it to be. So what I'm doing now is I'm using similar coloured Posca pens and I'm filling in the spaces that the stencil has left behind. Um, I'm just bringing some more colour to there. Now it, it doesn't really show up on camera here but that yellow is slightly different to the yellow paint and then the oranges that I'm using here with the Posca pen they again are slightly different and here it just looks like I'm literally just filling in over the top of it I'm not and you can actually see still see the cheddar through this Posca pen although you can't at the minute <laughs> it um, it was more obvious and then I'm just going in with a lighter color so this is another light orange Posca pen and just pulling that paint through those white areas so on some of the flowers I'm using lighter colours, on some of them I'm using darker colours, but they're all within the same, they're kind of analogous colours with the colour that's there already, um, so that they play nicely together. And using lighter or darker colours helps to just bring that little bit of contrast to the image as well. So now I'm using a Pilot GTEC C4. Um, I was going to draw through the stencil, but it kind of ended up looking a bit too um, stiff and I wanted it to have a freer feel than that. So I am now just doodling over the flowers. I'm using the stencil marks that are there as a guide um, and I'm just drawing some lines over the top, adding some dots. Um, just having a bit of fun really and playing with the shapes that are there so here you can see i am drawing over the patterns that are there already um, so using that stencil design as my guide doing it like this as well where i'm not drawing through the stencil gives it that freer look because i am um, i'm not sort of so it's not going to be as stiff as it would be if it was drawn through the stencil i mean that is one way to do it but just playing like this is a great way to have a bit of fun with the images that are there and obviously in some of the areas I'm going to kind of just add in leaves or petals that maybe aren't quite there but just help the image to feel a bit more complete. So that's the process that I do for the rest of this tag so far is I just go in and draw over the lines, add some dots and 
um, yeah, just try to give it kind of a loose, sketchy feel. So this is a distress crayon. I'm just going in and brightening up some of those leaf areas and just smudging it so that it fills in some of the white around there too and just softens those areas a bit. Um, but I was really liking the way this tag was coming together. Um, I thought it was really pretty with all the colours. Then I've edged the tag using black archival ink again. Um, this is just a nice way to kind of finish this off. And then... Um, I think the last thing that I did was to oh well, yeah add the tab on and then just pop a quote on there too and that was how this tag finished so this is day 20 only five more to go I can't believe it there it is the finished tag really bright colorful floral pattern lots of fun to create so I hope you're enjoying this little series of videos thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon